Ladies and gents, welcome back. Um, we are just waiting for the new horses to appear. Why? It's 11 a.m. Lots and lots of happy tourists here. And after one hour and 15 minutes, would you believe, on duty, this horse and this guard is still here. As indeed is Indigo, a magnificent horse at the other end, uh, and the other boxman. Yeah, an hour and 15 minutes, guys. Why so long in the box? Well, morning inspection took a while yeah it took a good while so the morning inspection is now complete the lieutenant has gone back in to the stable area and we're waiting for those two new horses here they come Let's see which two we get Instinctively, I didn't recognise either the, the two approaching horses. I said this one's definitely done uh, done his fringe this morning. The new one, look. Okay, so this is our first change of the day, uh, and here we have. Actually, well, I think it was Sizzler, but no, it's not Sizzler. I think actually Sizzler might be the other end. <clears throat> I will, folks, without fail, uh, find out the name of this glorious horse that just arrived. I don't think we saw this one yesterday. Other than the white sock, I would have thought, hold on a second, that has to be TA, one small problem. Uh, TA is a Blues and Royals horse, uh, and this is not the Blues and Royals. As you can see, this is the lifeguards. So your lifeguard horse again guys in the comments i will drop in fact either the first comment at the top of the video will be this horse's name and the name of the other horse if not uh it will be added at some point horses seem pretty settled today no clippy cloppy no uh no restlessness okay, our first tourist for pictures with the new horse I'll wander down and have a quick look at the other horse. I'm just noticing the other one. The other horse at the other end is enormous. I was thinking for a second, potentially overlord, but definitely not. I've just noticed a very, very pronounced uh, star. Look at this one. Spectacular. In fact, I'm reasonably certain this is Sizzler. <clears throat> Sorry guys, uh, that was here yesterday, had a bit of a meltdown yesterday morning. I'll compare the images, I took, did take some pictures of Sizzler. I can't remember the, uh, the situation with socks though, whether Sizzler had any socks or not. This horse is completely clean, except for that very, very pronounced star. Uh, <laughs> almost can see that the horse is listening. He's a twitching. Twitchy, twitchy. That's another real beauty though, isn't it? Again, a very large horse, as large as Indigo. I just finished the relief inside as well, as you can see, the guards in the distance walking through. And that now is complete. Gatesman just going back into the archway. Bingo, and there we have it, folks. And I was talking about the fact there weren't many police around. Um, noticing that they're out with Navy, Navy caps, even though they're police constables. Yeah, there'll be a process this morning. In fact, the sunlight now here is quite remarkable. It really, really got bright very, very quickly. No rainbow, alas, yet. Okay, so that's this end and the other end. Now, I'm not sure everybody's going to flood through to, but there will definitely be a flood of people coming this way uh, from the tunnel end. They've just opened the gates. I'm not going to do that usual thing of getting right in the, uh, the melee of the crowd. I don't know how big it'll be, but we'll see in a minute once they will start to arrive at the front. 
the officer actually is having a word with these ladies now that left their pram here. Obviously, you know, this is a secure site. Generally surprising that they would have thought they could just leave uh, leave the pram, etc. here. So it's a good thing that the officers are having a word. At the end of the day, yes, it's probably harmless, but you know what? And there, and there. Given conditions of what's been going on in London recently, it's uh, not ideal to be leaving anything unattended, is it? Like it's going to be a bit of a busy one, actually, noticing by the crowding already. This. Goodness, I mean, that is a lot of people. Okay, so it is going to be uh, a fairly typical Saturday. Uh, it would certainly appear, at least. I also noticed the troopers removing the chain. Now, that could only mean one of two things. Visitors, special guests, or, if not, uh, a certain person leaving. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty standard Saturday by the looks of it, guys, now the rain stopped. So, famous last words, before we start pouring down again in a couple of minutes. Oh, toute la journée. Horse guards would not be actually horse guards without the Frenchies. Uh, and I probably should add a comment, uh, the second I walked away, the guard behind me screamed at these two to get out. The two that looking bashful in the yellow and red. Yeah, they walked into uh, into the area. I don't know how they did that because the chain is up, but that was a pretty damn loud shout. I hope the microphone picked that up. It wasn't the loudest. Uh, it's been quite busy in the courtyard here, but it was still pretty loud. Yeah, naughty, naughty, naughty. Yeah. Had to be the second that I uh, turned away, didn't it? Every single time, eh, folks? Okay, so the crowd has dissipated somewhat. Which means they've moved to the front, inevitably. Anyway, what I was going to say um, at the other arch, before I heard that shout and turn, uh, some of you definitely overlooked the fact that uh, uh, my humour vis-à-vis uh, the Frenchies uh, is just that, it's humour. Uh, I am a huge Francophile. Uh, my best friend of way over a decade uh, is from Tours in France. Uh, and finds my humour vis-à-vis Frenchies uh, palatable, uh, much as I find hers vis-à-vis -vis Brits roast beefs, as a lot of you French call us, the same. Okay, here comes the absolute ridiculous level of crowding. Look at this, folks. Look. Just like that again. Wow. Did not take long, did it? Good lord, it's busy. I'm trying to find or think of a spot to get closer, but there actually isn't one. As far as that might sound, there really isn't. Not for the moment. Same at the other end, actually. Let's have a wander look. Again, I'm going to be careful of where I stand because of the light. The sunlight's really hitting the front this morning. Look, everything is illuminated. Probably if I turn one way, it's definitely going to uh, overexpose. Ah ha Finally, I did look for you yesterday, but um, Abdullah said you'd already left. Yeah. Um, I'm going to finish off this one, and I'll, I'll find you a problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, at the other end, guys, yeah, it's really kind of, I wouldn't say impossible, but it's exceedingly difficult to get anywhere close without uh, a lot of fuzzy tourist haircuts in the, in the camera. I'm so 
so many Frenchies here again, guys. The French people work. Do they actually uh, have meaningful employment, or do they just spend all their time in in London? And yes, I am joking. This horse is his majesty. Oh, I bought. I was about to say this horse is his majesty as indigo, but I think the horse is looking at me like, what are you talking about? I'm far better looking. Mm, yeah, maybe you are facially. Oh my goodness me, what is going on? Look at this. I think that all of... Uh, all of those that didn't make it here in the summer have just turned up here, in the autumn. Goodness me. Quite extraordinary, eh? I know we were thinking it might be a fairly quiet morning earlier on, uh, due to the fact that uh, it was wet. Should have known better, shouldn't I, guys, than to doubt... Uh, I doubt my suspicion that Saturday would be unadulterated chaos. Good lord. What's up? Uh oh. Your touch is good to go. Trying to get uh, a decent spot in front of a horse, but easier said than done. Right, you know, finally, here we are, people. Okay, we can now finally uh, stay put for a little bit uh, and see who's turning up with this glorious horse. It's uh, reflecting on the lens of the camera. So now I get right at the front. Obviously, uh, the tourists decide they don't want to also get right at the front. What a surprise. filming it something happened inside I don't know what it was some sort of issue dispute or whatever over the archway uh, with it seems the uh, the chitsman you can probably hear just how busy it is from the uh, number of voices behind me guys Yeah, I don't know what happened there. This is a teacher leading the group out. I'm not sure if they were a bit naughty, this lot, in the arch. Oh, there's a French as well. What a big surprise. It's all right to have uh, somebody from Orange. The, uh, uh, the god of the horse. Yep, this will certainly explain why the French economy is struggling a little bit. Uh, most are here um, and most don't have a job. Yes, I'm joking, sensitive people. Oh. Wait, I wonder if they want to shoot a rap video here, look. Come on, 
Italians though, actually, not uh, not French these ones. French guy just whispers the horse, I'll see you later, meaning at dinner. Okay, so Spanish, Italian, French, German here this morning. Lots and lots and lots of them. And as some of you pointed out, and you are quite correct to do so, yes, it's good for the tourist economy here in London. Very good, in fact. so much better as well when the light's good. Uh-oh, there had to be one in there. There just had to be. Damn it. I was really thinking we might get a first ever Saturday with not a single person going into the rains. And boom, it's gone. Oh well. Predictable, let's be honest, folks. Oh, he did have a little nibble there. <laughs> the discard was ready there, how quickly you removed those rains <laughs> when she reached out for them. At any moment, we're going to hear the uh, the 30 bill. I can actually extract my phone. Can't reach it, unfortunately. It's in an inside pocket. Way out of reach. Oh. Love it if the horse decides to nibble his phone. Break it in half, throw it on the floor. Okay, what I am noticing is uh, lifeguard corporal of horse. Coming out this morning. As a surprise, actually, the majority of the lifeguard corporals, of course, uh, do not spend a lot of time at the front. Far, far less, actually, than uh, than their blues equivalents. More officers arriving. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a protest today, without a doubt. time actually as the guard is doing his rounds I almost got called up then I really thought the guard was going to go back through the gate that would have been my moment of, uh, of ownage <laughs> oopsie I'll teach me to concentrate a little bit better.
Apparently, I didn't know Busker said yeah, 12 o'clock again. Okay, I'm not sure if the Corporal Force is potentially briefing uh, the troopers that they're going to be off because of that pending protest. It's done. Uh, more luggage storage area. Oh, she's asking if the horse bites. I'm guessing that's her bag that, uh, that she's left there. What if it's stuff with the uh, 500 euro notes? Should I go and actually no, I better not go and check. Just in case. <laughs> no, it's not stuff with 500 euros notes, guys. It's definitely full of gold bars. You can see how, how heavy it is. The handles are being really pulled down by the weight. Okay, looking up at the clock tower, it's 32 minutes past 11. Now, looking around, actually, yeah, that, that we've got... I don't know if it, the camera is going to be, uh, be able to pick them up. One minute, I'll come back to that. Let's focus on the uh, on the guard. I say, I'm noticing a lot of uh, police filing out along Whitehall now. So there is definitely a protest. Guard is off. Officers walking towards Trafalgar Square, other officers walking this way. Let's try and find out. So, can I ask you a quick question? Is there another protest today? Another, around noon, yeah, again. Are you locking down today? Potentially, we'll see how bad it gets. Yeah, okay. fingers crossed. Alright, thank you. Okay, so the, yes, they are expecting a protest. Um, whether or not it happens, and uh, more importantly, uh, how busy it's going to be. Uh, troopers coming out. I'm not sure if he's actually going to... Uh... Actually, wait, hold on a second. If he's coming out, there's a good chance that he's going to tell his colleague that they're going to be removed at some point this morning. I would think. Checking the, uh, the emergency button. Okay, it's making more sense now. So if, when it forms a protest is as large as in previous weeks, they will completely lock everything down again here, to be expected, in all honesty. It's either that or bring the other 200 horses along and let them deal with the protest. I think that many horses probably could, in all honesty. With very little effort. behind what is this oh here we go look Torgo with a PA system and a massive flag what a brilliant idea right eh, to bring a flag like that to horse guards and walk right past the horse in a minute uh, with that unbelievable I do wonder why you need a flag that big I didn't even know Ronaldo was in London. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is that not Ronaldo? It's Ronaldo, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. Never <laughs> like. Uh, twin brothers. Oh my God, I think the guard is going to avoid the horse biting this lady.
flesh. You know, it's much like getting in this picture with the tourist budding in behind. Look. Okay, finally, hey, patience, we're paid off. Okay, let's head back in. It's been a while since we're inside. What is happening in the yard? For the first few shouts this morning, nothing uh, super dramatic. But clearly, there have been some uh, some archies, as we call them. genius move to use your kid to take the picture but the trouble is that means you've got more kid missing from the from the family photo I would offer but I can't go because I've got no uh, no spare hands to be able to take a picture of, uh, of that lovely family all together a little place at the back. Yeah, I've seen vehicles moving along the road. It is unfortunate I can't check what's, uh, what's going on on the other phone. Like a stupid, I put it on the interior, interior pocket, so I've got two layers between uh, my hand and the phone. But what a difference, eh? Remember when we walked through here in video number one earlier on, how murky it was? It completely changed. There's the entrance to the Guards Museum, everybody. It is actually a rather lovely morning, isn't it? That's the old Admiralty building we're looking at now. And that crunchy, munchy sound behind us is... Uh, this tourist wandering across the parade ground. Yeah, this side, the uh, the light is super. But only that side.
the most well trodden of tourist routes. I haven't actually though, to be fair, yet at least. Um, and I say yet because I don't think it will happen. They're normally out very early. Uh, not only have I not seen any police horses at all, uh, but obviously that means they're not preparing for or anticipate any kind of uh, a riot. It hasn't happened yet, but almost every single week so far on Saturdays, we've seen an awful lot, an awful lot of police horses in riot kit. As mentioned, no horses, no police horses at all this morning. Other than the two that went briefly through horse guards. I mean, I guess that's a good indication. If they're not rolling them out, kidding them up, it means they're not expecting trouble. I can't decide actually which, um, which is the better horse to, to film in front of. That's why I'm sort of dithering briefly. You know, I don't normally do that, guys, but it's a tough one this because the tourists are concentrating one end the second I'm at that end they squat at the other end it's very curious the movement of people Also, the fact there are only two officers are, are on duty at the front here compared to previous weeks. Yeah, I'm anticipating there might be uh, a process, but it's, uh, it'll be nothing like the numbers we saw last week. That's the 45 bell. Uh, the interesting thing is going to be whether they do, this is the key here, whether they do replace the horses with new horses uh, when we hit noon or whether they take these two off and call it a day. At the moment, even the police aren't sure. the guard. Final rounds uh, for his shift, at least at this hour. Uh oh, that was close. That's it, just pushed him out of the way. <laughs> he looks vexed. Brilliant. He had plenty of warning. He had plenty of warning before getting pushed out of the way. It's been a while actually since, uh, since somebody got a good push. I think he's actually complaining. Look, he's going to complain about being assaulted. <laughs> Is he com he's complaining. Classic. 
Oh my goodness me, what a big softy, eh? Oh, the guard pushed me. See this, the guy that got pushed is making complaints of the police. It's like crying about the fact he got pushed out of the way. Just here, when the guy walks over here, he shoved him out of the way. You can see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't happen in France. Hey, no, you didn't see that happen. <laughs> Wait, they're telling French jokes, the guards are, are discussing. Uh, <laughs> but he's, saying, he's making a joke about Escort Go. Like, <laughs> yes. Imagine if he comes over and pushes the guy out of the way again. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> no, sadly not. Oh, brilliant. That is funny. That bashful, though. Off he's gone. He's gone to the tunnel to cry. It's his anger, Chief. He pushed me. Obviously, he pushed me. The gendarmes do not do that in my country, huh? I come here as a tourist, I spend uh, the money. Uh, and it is not funny when I spend the money. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> look, look on the guy's face when he pushed him out of the way. He was like, oh. You should be giving way. He should. He saw he had plenty of time to move. I've got no sympathy. Yeah, just standing there, expecting the guard to move. Extraordinary, really. Oh, goodness me. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, I'm laughing because it's, it's, I mean, it's humorous, but at the same time, getting, you know, upset about it is, is completely ridiculous. Uh, it's now exactly 10 to folks, 10 to noon. And will they replace the horses with new ones or will they take them off altogether? I would call it either way, it's a 50 50, it really is. Submariners. Mm -hmm. 
Sailors, ladies in central London. Uh, it's a pit of mist. I would have asked them why uh, why there are so many naval personnel in London this weekend. I honestly have no idea. Apologies if there's something major that I'm missing. Okay, well, we didn't miss that, did we? I think it's because she was her left arm uh, was touching the cloak. Yeah, uh, you saw guys when I turned. She did seem pretty close. I didn't think it was intentional, but uh, he said to get back, and then obviously she didn't. Uh, hence him having to verbalise it a little bit louder. Oopsie! Wow. Okay, she's gone. At least she didn't complain to the police about it and say, "Oh, the cloak shouted at me." But it doesn't happen in France. Okay, wow. I mean, we got somebody getting pushed and then uh, get back. I wasn't expecting that. See, the moment on occasion you turn, something completely unexpected, no anticipation or expectation at all that, that was going to happen, but boom, it did. Really extraordinary, isn't it, to be honest? Right place, right time, folks. It's as simple as that. It is absolutely potluck. The problem with the raincoat I'm wearing today is that underneath it I've got a Sherpa fleece. What does that mean? Uh, it means that, my goodness me, <laughs> it's flipping hot. Uh, now it's not raining. I am of course hoping that nobody's going to wander into the area here and get shouted at. Um, yesterday's video, of course, when I said that, somebody walked right in um, pretty much within 10 seconds of me saying it. Remarkably fortuitous, but again, pure luck. I honestly can't predict it. I mean, yes, of course, I've got you know a lot of experience of the way that things happen here, and the way that people tend to make you know, the same mistakes in repetition. Because it's just the way the place is laid out. You know, you're going to walk in, you're going to stroll around, and you're going to naturally be curious, as I was when I first started coming here. Uh, but it's still, it's still absolute pot luck. Uh, to get the shouts, you know, the, the get off the reins, the step back, etc, etc. 
Okay, so I'm seeing there is at least one new horse already ready inside the gate. Only one though, that's curious. Maybe the other one's on, on its way. Okay, so they wouldn't be getting the new horse ready unless they were anticipating needing to change over the existing horses. So that is a positive. Uh, we know which horse it's going to be anyway because we already saw uh, the first two horses that were out here today. We've already seen them. So that means that we don't actually have a surprise coming. The only surprise is that the horses are actually coming out as opposed to uh, this plane being, this place, sorry, plane, place being put under lock and key again uh, at 12 noon as it has been in previous weeks. That said, I will be here, uh, even after this video, for a little bit longer uh, to see what happens between the period from 12 to 1. Uh, should something happen, I will, of course, capture it and then perhaps add that as an addendum or a small you know, part three conclusion if God is really, really having a little look there, how close she's getting into the cobbles. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> He's already told us you didn't move. Okay, right, Trooper's uh, taking the chain down inside. No, they're not sure apparently. The new horses are in the tunnel, in the in the stable, sorry, so they're going to come out, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, which guys, and I, I'm happy to say, honestly, I, honest, I really don't know what's going on, which for me here uh, is quite an unusual thing to say, I must, uh, I must admit. There we go. It's our lovely trooper from this morning, opening up. Now, he wouldn't bother with that. Unless they were bringing out new horses, they would simply take these two horses through the front gates um, and straight into the stable area. In fact, he's opened up the box at the back. It's not to let the horse turn around and run into the stables. It is so that the new horses can come in. Right, everybody's getting pushed back. I'm a little bit torn, guys, to be honest, about whether to be out here at the front uh, or in the yard. It's a, it's a bit of a difficult decision. However, I think overall, the smart choice uh, is going to be to stay at the front. Yeah, I do. Just looking at what's going on inside. It's 12 noon. Yeah, we haven't got a foot guard changeover. This is going to be the best spot. Oh. You know, everyone's being, can't quite see it, being pushed back behind the line through the box, horse's head slightly obscuring it, but everybody, there we are, uh, is being told to get back behind the line. Lost the light again, look. This is almost like it's going to be at four o'clock, but early. Spectacular sunlight we have for all of, what, 20 minutes? It makes it being uh, overcast and a bit grim. What is this horse's, uh, the fringe at the front still looks absolutely perfect. I wonder if they use hair gel on it. Uh, spot on, just as it was when the horse came out. Okay, so yep, here come the uh, the replacements. The new horses. Okay, so we know it's a pair. Interesting see if the lady girl gets this end again or whether she's at the other end this time. How in sync Big Ben is with the clock here. Right, here comes a new horse. Very kind of the guy just said one sec to the mum. Not sure if the microphone picked it up. She wanted to get a picture. He just said there one sec. Because obviously he knows the change over them. The, the lady had blessed her doesn't know that. What a nice guy. Eh? And he's off for the moment. Oh, of course like, yep, that's right, I'm off. Break time. Brilliant. Absolutely lovely. Thanks. Oh, and they've actually they have swapped them over. 
Indigo has now got this box, uh, which means that the other horse, who I, I'm still convinced is Valate or Verona, I've got, I forget it, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Indigo, here in front of us, got this box. Straight in the stables, again there's no dismount guys in the winter months. Too slippery and there are no scabbards for the swords, meaning that the uh, troopers have only got one hand available. There we have it. This is the first time I've actually ever stood directly in front of... Hey, <laughs> I haven't seen you for ages. All good, yeah? First time I've ever stood directly in front of Magnificent Indigo. What a horse, eh? Spectacular, this one. If anything, the, the lady who wanted to get close and have her picture with, uh, with the child and the trooper said, hey, just a sec. Perfect. She's now going to get a picture with an even more beautiful, uh, even more beautiful horse. I hope these people behind are not going to walk through the box. There's a lot of motion again here, look. That never ending motion. So, in this video, folks, we've got somebody being pushed out of the way as the guy was doing his rounds, and also the lady uh, getting told to get back. Uh, by the guard at this end, not this guard, by the guard that's just left. So quite surprising in all honesty. We are in fact seeing a change of foot guards. The lifeguards are doing it on even hours after all, to my great surprise. Here we are. Yeah, I really am genuinely surprised about that. Okay, so they've gone with even hours. It's 12 noon. So lifeguards are doing even hours, blues and rolls are doing odd hours. Let's see what happens when they come out in a moment because there's quite a tight gap here actually for the uh, for the relief. There's not enough uh, staff to deal with the crowds here. There's not a trooper outside today. Dealing with crowd control. There's safety bag, keep an eye on the, uh, the new gatesman. Here he comes. <laughs> Clean. And ditto this side. Oh well, oh, that was it. unexpected, wasn't it, folks? But very unexpected. I was not expecting that, uh, as I mentioned before, that it was not supposed to be the case that they're changing over on the even hours. But again, they change it and swap it up and catch us out. Uh, myself and everybody else. None of the other guys went into the yard either. Trooper adjusting the plume there, making sure his collie looks flawless. any comments at all about what's going on folks oh actually what I've just noticed I wonder what he was uh, doing then that he's actually just uh, brushing down his colleague's cuff Gent, eh? How thoughtful. And up the chain goes. So the tube looks perfect. I think he just has some fluff or something stuck on uh, on one of his sleeves. This is why the trooper was paying a particular attention to that side. Next job is to close the boxes and uh, that, in all probability, will be the final change of the day. No guarantees, of course, but I think it will be. Obviously, yet again, we're coming to the end and the light comes back. What a surprise. Every time like that, eh? 
there's any more indication of movement at the front. It's so, so, so curious. Whether or not they're going to close it down, it's very much going to be a last-minute decision, so you can see it. Closed, troopers put the chain back up. All that stuff is taken care of. It is exactly seven minutes past noon. I'm not sure if you can make it out on the clock tower. Yeah, exactly seven minutes past noon. Gosh, there's some super tall people here today. We're talking sort of six, 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 seven tall. Hmm? It's the same lady or not? Where? What, you, what, what in the in the coat? The one is uh, said good. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. It's not the same one. No. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Lovely fur coat, isn't it? Hello, horsey, hello, guard. to finish here with Indigo, uh, but I know that most people are spending time at the other end, the other horse. As I'm going that way, uh, when I leave it, I will spend a little bit of time at the other end, folks, and that will uh, that will be the end of part two for today. I hope you enjoyed today's two parts, not um, as action-packed, arguably, as yesterday, but um, yesterday we didn't catch a single serious transgression. Today, uh, we caught two. people here today actually. Thank 
Kid lost a dad for a minute. <laughs> so, folks, wherever I move, somebody's uh, walking front of the camera, sort of milling around uh, around the front. I don't know why. Very odd, actually, compared to yesterday. Yesterday was. Remember yesterday, in fact, in the video, I said that it almost seemed as though yesterday uh, was the new Saturday. It's super curious because today is exactly how I would have anticipated a typical Friday to be. So how odd is it that yesterday was everything that we would have expected from a typical Saturday, but then conversely today was everything we would have expected from a typical Friday. Notice that, folks, anyone planning a trip here, there is no, absolutely no way of knowing how many people are going to be here at what time etc it's, it's crazy how it differs this is the first time that I'd remember a Saturday being not absolutely ridiculously busy um, in, in many many months it's before the summer very 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 odd isn't it there's no rhyme or reason at all to the way things work here uh, it would seem certainly in terms of the number of visitors uh, and tourists who decide to come here Yeah, that's not what I would have expected for a Saturday. It's very, very, very curious. I, I do wonder, though, actually, whether because it was forecast to be rainy, heavily rainy all day, uh, a lot of people simply say, you know what, I'm not going to bother. That would be my, uh, my best guess. Because if we even look at yesterday, let alone a typical Saturday, it was absolutely solid at points. Although we've had brief moments like that today, it hasn't been consistent. I mean, I'm not complaining, I actually think it's a good thing. Um, and going into the really cold months, December and January, hopefully, so from my perspective, hopefully, uh, it will be a little bit more civilized here. What I mean by that, I mean, you know, let less people mean that people can take the, the time to get nice pictures without strangers getting in the, in the, in the way in the background. It's never intentional, but it is uh, a bit annoying, I guess, especially if you've only just come to London. Anyway, our closing shot, guys, in part two will be, from this side, the spectacularly perfect uh, indigo. And all this glory. Actually, back, probably get the entire horse in. There we are. Bing bong. Um, at exactly 12.15, would you believe? Let me see if the guard's going to do his rounds. Uh, if he is, fine. I'll catch that. If not, uh, I will finish up. Let's see. Looks like he is. One second. Look at the body language of two people that are inside. It looks like he's... Yeah, here we go. Oh, he's really, really doing it like on rails. Notice see that turn, the absolute last moment he turned. His, uh, his pace reminds me of a certain... Blues and Royals Trooper that we all know very, very, very well. Just taking it slowly. And he's off. And there we have it, folks. A fairly appropriate end, I think, to this video. Yeah, we all know who <laughs> whose walk that looks like. Slow and only turn at the very last moment. Kind of catch the tourists out. They're all surprised actually, like why is he walking that way? And there you have it guys. Uh, a relatively bright 
Saturday here. I hope you enjoyed the two parts, and I will be back uh, in the next video. Bye for now, folks.